Welcome back. Do you have a ring camera? Well, you might be getting some money soon. It's actually part of a multi-million dollar settlement with the federal government. Our Jennifer Krause is joining us live uh, by her ring camera with details on this. So, uh, Jen, who is going to actually get this money, though? Well, Ben, anybody who has had a ring camera for a while is eligible for this money. And we're talking about six years or more. So if you got your ring camera and set up a ring account by February 1st of 2018 or before that, you should probably be seeing money coming your way. That's because the Federal Trade Commission is sending refunds to more than 100,000 ring customers after suing the company for failing to block both employees and hackers from accessing consumers' videos. The FTC filed, said in a lawsuit, filed last year, they accused Ring of failing to implement security protections, which not only apparently allowed employees and contractors access to consumers' private videos, but it actually in some cases allowed hackers to take control of consumers' accounts, their cameras, and their videos. The FTC says this, quote, led to egregious violations of users' privacy. Now, the Federal Trade Commission has five and a half million dollars from this settlement that they're going to be sending to consumers who qualify. These are folks who not necessarily had their accounts compromised, but they've been identified that they potentially were compromised. They've identified 117,000 of these accounts that they'll be sending the money to. Federal agency is going to be sending the money out through PayPal accounts in the next coming uh, few months. Also under the settlement, Ring is going to be required to put security measures in place to make sure that nothing like this ever happens again. Now, if you have questions about your refund, you should contact the refund administrator. That is Rust Consulting. We've got that number there on your screen, 833 637 4884, or you can go to the Federal Trade Commission's website, ftc.gov, where they have answers to frequently asked questions about the refund, refund process. Something else to keep in mind is that often when there's a big settlement like this, scammers come out of the woodwork trying to get people's money. So remember, Ben, if you are getting a refund, you should never have to pay money for it, and you should never have to turn over personal account information.